Okay, boys and girls, here we go! We are at this massive Meshuggah Marine, ready to board the Gross Hanacha sailboat that will take us on an over-the-top, through-the-seas, mountain-topping, country-crossing exploration of the most exhilarating extreme sports known to mankind. I-5-ish will be your tour guide as we follow some of my exceedingly cool and rather crazy friends all over the world. We'll be deep at sea as we watch them flip, flop, and fly through the greatest of Hashem's Niflo Sabore, and we will not try this at home. If you recall our trip last year to Ancona in Italy, we watched a man flying using a paraglide, but there was no engine. Somehow, the pressure of air entering vents in front of the wing and the aerodynamical forces of the air flowing over the outside can allow paragliders to fly for hours on end. That's why they have to set it up so perfectly so that the mechanism of airflow will be perfect and allow them to fly. These people are base jumping. B-A-S-E is the acronym for building antenna towers, span bridges, and earth cliffs the four categories of fixed objects those pros use as a jumping base. They have a parachute especially engineered for base jumping attached to them. These jumpers jump in deserted areas as well as urban ones. They must be very quick to operate the parachute as they have much less time than jumpers who leap out of an airplane at 15,000 feet since they start off much closer to the ground. 